Every new year, you take a good look in the mirror and you think, how can I improve this year? What can I change to look better, to feel better, and to have more confidence in this new chapter of my life? And well, the easy answer will always be a new hairstyle. I know it sounds superficial, but the right hairstyle changes everything. Most men haven't figured this out yet, but men's hair is like women's makeup. Once you find a hairstyle that suits your face shape, that properly highlights your best features, you're gonna look so much better and your confidence levels will skyrocket. I know because that's what happened to me. And it's funny because I was already posting videos on YouTube when that happened. So you can literally see the massive difference that it made for me, for my looks and ultimately my confidence levels. But I get it, choosing the right hairstyle isn't easy. There's so many options out there. So I wanna make this easy for you. Today, I have a list of the trendiest hairstyles for 2024. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what to ask for when you book your next haircut and even which products to use to style it. Starting with the curly fringe. And in general, you're gonna see that texture is a big trend for 2024 and curls have a ton of natural texture so it ties into the current trend for this hairstyle you need longer hair at the front push forward so it sits on your forehead i personally like it a little bit longer i think length adds character to this hairstyle. But if you wanna keep it shorter, you're gonna have an easier time styling it and keeping it in place throughout the day. You could go with a fade on the sides and the back, but fades aren't as trendy right now, so my recommendation is go with a taper, which is a little bit longer. This hairstyle definitely skews a little younger, so if you're a teenager, if you're in your 20s, up to your early 30s, this is great for you. I think anything beyond that, you're probably pushing it. But again, style is such a personal thing. There's always exceptions. The main feature of this hairstyle is that curly fringe. And it's actually easier to style than you think, especially if you already have curly or wavy hair. All you have to do is apply sea salt spray, scrunch it with your fingers, then let it air dry, or use a diffuser like this one here to lock those curls in. And I'm gonna list all of the styling products that I mentioned in this video in the description below. Next up, we have one of my favorite hairstyles right now, the Flow. I like this one because of the effortless, casual, but cool vibe that it gives off. It's perfect for guys with slightly longer hair who want a touch of that rugged charm. If you have wavy hair, you absolutely have to try this hairstyle. It works for pretty much any occasion. Timothy Chalamet has had this hairstyle for a while now and you can see how versatile it is. Whether he's walking down the red carpet or the streets of New York, it looks great. By the way, he's 28 years old, but I've seen guys a little older than that who look great with this cut. So it's not really an age restricted hairstyle. If you're in your 30s or even 40s, you can still rock the flow. And to style it, you should use the hairstyling cream, maybe a touch of the sea salt spray if you want more texture. Just make sure to have longer hair on top and then shorter layers on the sides and back so it doesn't look too bulky or heavy on the sides and back. The wolf cut has become a huge trend recently. I see this hairstyle in New York City all the time. It has this shaggy quality to it that makes it stand out. And I think you're starting to get this trend of effortlessly cool and tussled hair. That's really the vibe that we'll be seeing a lot in 2024. The wolf cut in particular has a combination of shorter and longer layers to create this wild aesthetic hence the wolf reference. You can see it has elements of a mullet and a shaggy cut, so it's pretty edgy. It's a cut that shows off a lot of personality. And I can see why guys would wanna go for something like this. They're not trying to blend in. This is for the guy who wants to be different, who has a specific style, maybe more vintage inspired or K-pop culture is also really into this cut right now. And again, for this hairstyle, I'd recommend the sea salt spray. It's just the best product to create texture and definition and to add that natural hold. And if you wanna look your best in 2024, you should absolutely hit that subscribe button below. My job here is to make sure that you look great, that you feel confident every time you leave your house to go on a date or a business opportunity so that you can get the most out of your life. If that sounds good, join the 4 million guys who are part of the YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button below and I promise I will make it worth your time. The next trendy hairstyle we'll be seeing a lot in 2024 is straight out of a 90s boy band, the messy middle part. It's funny because this was such a popular look in the 90s with the pop stars, right? Think NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, Hanson, and even actors like Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio. There's this trend cycle, it comes and goes. And right now, this trend came back in full force. And what makes it different from before is that instead of straight hair, the trend is leaning more towards a messy, wavy texture, making it even more casual, more carefree, which is again, in line with the overall men's hair trend for 2024. Now, what's cool about the middle part is that you can style it in so many different ways and different lengths. You can make it your own, have fun with it. There's no rules here besides your hair needs to be parted down the middle. That's all you need. Besides that, it's a free for all and I love that about this hairstyle. I would for sure use the hairstyling cream for this or the sea salt spray 
I swear the sea salt spray is like magic. It works for the majority of the hairstyles on today's list. Next on the list is the textured faux hawk. This is a modern take on the traditional faux hawk hairstyle. It combines that edgy and bold look of a mohawk with a more subtle and versatile approach, creating this style that's suitable for a lot of different occasions from casual to semi-formal settings. I wouldn't really go all the way formal. This is not a type of hairstyle that you wear with a suit, for example. Well, with the texture faux hawk, you're gonna keep the sides of your hair a little bit shorter, but not necessarily shaved or buzzed. The sides just gradually transition into that longer hair on top, which allows for some flexibility when it comes to styling. This gives you that balance between a bold statement like a mohawk and something more traditional that you can wear out with your friends that you're not gonna look like you're trying really hard to stand out. To style this, I would go with the texture powder or the hairstyling cream. Next up is the 80-20 part. Now it's called the 80-20 part because unlike a full part where you would part your hair all the way over here, you actually part it 80-20, giving the part more weight and volume. It's the hairstyle that I have right now and I've been rocking this hairstyle for almost a year now. I see it more and more on TikTok on here in New York City, especially in guys who like me are in their 30s, who wanna look presentable and go for more of that old money aesthetic. I tend to prefer clean cut hairstyles. So this is a good option if you're into that, but maybe you're sick of that OG side part. Nothing wrong with a side part, it always looks good. It's a classic, but it's also kind of boring. It's the safest hairstyle a man could ever have. So this adds a touch of newness to it. It's a more modern approach, but it still looks great in a suit, in a professional setting, and it works no matter your age. And to style it, I usually go with the Forte Series Texture Clay, but that's a really tough clay that holds your hair in place all day long. If you want more flexibility, which some guys do prefer, then go with the pomade or the hair styling cream. That's also gonna add a natural shine to your hair instead of the matte finish of the clay. All right, I'm calling this next hairstyle the Lewis Hamilton or Hammer Time or the goat, whatever you want to call him. But this is really just a braided man bun. I have a few friends rocking this hairstyle right now and man, it has to be one of the coolest hairstyles for 2024. It's edgy and tidy at the same time. It shows so much personality and at the same time, it doesn't require a lot of daily maintenance besides of course having to get your hair braided, which can be time consuming. But once it's done, you're good for a few weeks. I like that you can braid your hair in so many different ways too. There's no specific braid guideline you have to follow. Just have fun with it. And I know you're probably thinking, ah oh man, my hair is too short for this. It's gonna take so long for it to grow, for me to have a man bun. But there is a secret. If your hair's not long enough for this yet, you can use fake hair. I have friends who use hair extensions and even a fake hair bun that looks 100% real. That way you don't have to wait months to put your hair in a bun. You can just literally get the hair extensions and that's it. I remember seeing my buddy one day with short, braided hair. Then a week later, his hair was long and in a bun. He showed up in a bun. I'm like, how did that happen? So I asked him and that's what he said. So a fake man bun actually works for this as well. Make sure to keep those braids looking good and hydrated though. So I would definitely apply some of the argan oil so they don't get frizzy. You're going to be seeing a lot of this shaggy and short hairstyle in 2024 with actors like Jacob Elordi leading the way. Anyway, it's almost like a shorter wolf cut. It has that Hollywood star quality, which is great if you're trying to stand out if you want to be fashion forward. It's a hairstyle that works for pretty much any age. If you're rocking this, you better back it up with some cool outfits because this isn't the kind of cut that you wear to work in an office. This isn't for, for a guy who's going to wear a boring outfit. It's for a guy who wants to stand out. It's for a guy who wants to show personality and character. It's pretty easy to style because your hair needs to be short and it's supposed to look messy and relaxed. So there's not much you need to do besides kind of messing it up. I would go for a texture powder or a pomade to add definition and to enhance the natural texture of the hair. Now, if you're not into styling your hair every single day, I know a lot of guys who don't want to do that. I have the perfect hairstyle for you, the bleached buzz cut. This is going to be buzzing this year. It's a hairstyle that once you get it cut and bleached, you're done. There's nothing left to do besides looking handsome and getting compliments. It definitely makes a strong statement, especially if you made a radical change from your previous hairstyle. And I will say this requires a certain level of confidence to pull off. But what comes first? Confidence to get this hairstyle or confidence because you got this hairstyle? I'll leave it up to you to decide.